This is my Lego puzzle box with keys and motor. Uh, me and Dad sat down and we were solving some stuff and it uses a motor that I that long ago I bought a Harry Potter set from Lego. 4757. It's pretty old. I don't know. But inside it uses a motor for the the gate that rises at the front door. Well, you spin it and then it'll spin the opposite direction. So we used that motor because I found it and we decided to make a puzzle box here. So, you see some holes here and a door because the hinge is here and something there. You see an odd shape there. A bunch of holes here. Some holes here too. There's a pig in this hole. A hole here, a hinge here. A slit here. And not much else. So, your first step is the door. So I'm going to put the camera down. It's not just a swing. It's clipped in, so you have to force it open to the hinge and inside this door here you get a gear and a rod that looks like a button and inside there you see something that will side left and right you don't know what it does yet so you're going to keep it to the right because that's how you found it and here we're going to have holes, so you want to try out a bunch of holes, you try out some holes, they don't work. If you take this rod, oh I thought it fell. If you take this rod, on this side, it's logical because this is the only red hole on this, on this side of the puzzle box. So you put this button shaped thing in here. And if you push it all the way in, a light will come on. And if you look inside, you can see what hole you have to put the gear in. You can't see very well on the camera, even with the light. But this hole here, one, two, and one down from the top, or one down from that gray, I mean up. You take this gear and you put it in this hole. You don't have to put it too far in. So if you turn it counterclockwise, nothing will happen. But if you turn it clockwise, resistance and it will pop back, thus the motor. So if you try to turn it a full thing around, it'll just wind back around a full turn. So you don't know what you're going to do. What you have to do is this thing inside here has to go all the way to the left. Meaning it has to hit the wall as far left as it will possibly go. And now, if you turn this a whole turn over here, a key will come out. And it's got that special design indicating that it's got to go in this hole. So you put the key in the hole and it'll only go that far in. Set that aside. And over here this peg will come out. Now this peg you obviously there's a lot of holes but here there's two greens and it goes in the in the hole right there. And if you push it in, another key will come out. It looks a lot like the first key, only it doesn't have that thing and it's a lot thinner. So it will fit in the slit over here. Sorry. Sorry. It will go in this slit. You have to put it in the left side of the slit. 
and then it'll go all the way in. Oh, come on. Do it. Thing. Okay. And then if you slide it to the right, the door will open. And inside there's this peg which which opens it. And this treasure box. And inside the treasure box I have a gem that you win on my other puzzle box five, three, and one. It's pretty simple to close. You just put your whatever you want back in here, you close the door, you get this key out and put it back in its hole over here. On this side, you have to take this lever and pull it to the right. And it has to be that order. That thing has to go right before anything else happens. And this, you could take the rod back out and put it back in this blue thing. Now this key, you can put in here now. That won't go in unless you move the thing on the other side to the right. And then you just grab your button, your button, and your light, I mean, and your gear that turns it. You put this in the gear, like so, and stick this. inside the box. If three people ask to see the mechanism on how it works, I'll build a prototype to show and a video to show how the the mechanism for the motor works because if because it's cool, I don't know why I said that. This is turning out to be like my pinball. Anyway, the video is done. I should have hung up a while ago. So, goodbye.